monarch butterflies have been known to migrate uh, south in the fall, but it was, was not until 1975 that they were discovered overwintering in Mexico. Nobody knew where these literally hundreds of millions of monarch butterflies were migrating out of the eastern United States. Here we have an insect that's born, some of them are born in Nebraska, some of them are born, most of them are born across the Great Lakes region, but all the way to Maine and all the way south of Virginia. And by the end of the summer, there are tens of millions, if not hundreds of millions of monarch butterflies now that are going to leave the northern temperate zone, they're going to leave this breeding habitat, and they're going, just like birds, they're going to fly south up to 2,000 miles to this tiny pinpoint in Mexico. And then, remarkably, these butterflies spend five months hanging in these beautiful Oyamel fir trees in Mexico, and then at the end of March, they become exceedingly active, they start mating with each other, and then they fly all the way back to the Gulf Coast states. They fly up through Texas, some of them get all the way to northern Florida. And the milkweed plants now are coming out, uh, and the monarch females find these plants and lay their eggs on the plants. And this new generation of monarchs works its way up to the Great Lakes region. Now, what is perhaps even more remarkable than that is that over the summer, three or four generations of butterflies are produced. In the fall, the great-grandchildren fly back to these exact same forests in Mexico. They have never seen them before. It skips several generations. So somehow, this ability to find their way to these wonderful overwintering forests in Mexico is a genetically controlled inherited behavior pattern. January 1977 was one of the most exciting moments in my entire life because it was the first time that I walked into a monarch butterfly overwintering grove in Mexico and I realized that this had to be one of the most remarkable biological phenomena in the whole world and it changed my life. 